All right, you guys are good. We're Coach Boo. We can start firing away. Hey, Andy, good to see you. Jeremy Warner from 24-7 Sports. Uh, just, just wondering, I mean, you have a group that I think right now has three healthy scholarship guys and a lot of walk-ons. Uh, what's, your, what's your goal this spring with that group with so many guys out? Um, repping them all. That, that's been the biggest thing is getting, them, getting, a, getting our eyes on all these guys. Um, they're all very talented um, in their own way. They all have different skill sets. Um, they bring, um, you know, different – different skill sets to the table. So, you know, it's been good to, to mix the, 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 the roster, the depth chart around just to, to, to get a taste of what everyone can do. And what are you trying to do right now with those injured guys and Jake uh, right now to kind of get them up to speed and, and get them a part of this and learn in the defense? How, how, take me through what you do with them. Yeah, they're, they're very much involved in what we do. Um, in fact, um, each one of them um, mentors two of the other guys on um, that on the active roster. Um, so you know they, they they learn they learn exactly what everyone else is learning, and and we we kind of use those guys to teach you know on on the off time. So, um, but we do get them involved too. They're you know they're involved in certain things during practice, and um, and uh, they're in all of our meetings and and whatnot. So it's been it's been really good to have them. Um, you know, mentoring the guys that are actually practicing right now. What have you learned about Jake or Tariq or Kalon uh, so far? Uh, they're, they're pros, um, and that's kind of what I was expecting. They're uh, student. They're students of the game. Um, they love football. They love their teammates. They're team guys. Um, so it's been really fun, um, you know, being around them and and seeing how they interact uh, in this, you know, in their in their own situations. Thanks, Andy. Hey, Andy, kind of uh, building off of Jeremy talking about uh, talking about Jake Hansen. What was your reaction when you found out he was going to be coming back, and what does that help do to this linebacker room and having him back in the fold for this coming season? Yeah, obviously, I was, I was super excited to have such a veteran guy come back. Um, you know, especially since you know that wasn't um, what we were expecting. Um, so that was that was awesome to to hear that he was coming back and you know adding to to um, what we what we really feel like is already a really nice or good a good room. So um, yeah, just him coming back and his the experience that he brings, the leadership that he brings, the the talent that he brings, and you know, and then obviously you know the play that that he's already done um, is is awesome. So we're pretty fired up to have him back. And I know you were hired uh, before Coach Kane was here. What has it been like to work with him and, and those guys he's brought up from the, the defensive line into the outside linebackers room? Uh, the, the question about it was the is it a question about Coach Kane? Yeah, you. What's yeah. it been like working with Coach Kane? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been awesome. Um, Coach Kane and I know each other. We we met, um, oh gosh, about ten years ago. Um, you know, and talked linebacker play back when he was at the University of Illinois and I was at Wisconsin. So um, we've, uh, we've crossed paths, um, you know, several times, whether that was through a clinic or just on the cell, you know, on, on a phone talking about certain things. But it's been really great. He's, he's, he's an awesome guy. He's, um, you know, he brings a lot to the, you know, to, to our room and, um, you know, with his, with his defense coordinator uh, background and his linebacking back background it's been awesome to learn from him and um it's, it's definitely made our room really really good thanks andy hey andy good to see you joey wagner from 24 7 sports i'm curious you and brett obviously worked together before but what do you kind of read out of him now that he's got the chance to be back in this position in college and you know at the front of the room and running a spring ball are you noticing Anything about the way he's kind of taking it in, or I guess what do you just kind of read about how he's handling it? Yeah, he's um, he's a pro. I mean, I I've been around a lot of guys, and and I, and I don't want to compare, but um, he is one of the best. I, um, you know, the University of Illinois in Champaign, um, he hit a home run, uh, Aaron Brett Bielema. Um, it, it just. Um, not, and he, he'll probably tell you the same things. He's, he's improved in a lot of areas. Um, 
Um, but you know, I, I, I thought when I was with him at university of Wisconsin, that he was one of the best. And, and now, um, you know, since, since, since the, you know, the few years that I've been away from him, it's even improved so much more. I, I'm learning so much from him and he's teaching, um, he is teaching our football team how to be champions every day, every single day, not, not only the players, but the coaches and the staff. And uh, that's what's been the most impressive thing that I've seen, you know, since I've since I've been away from him. Is that something like, I don't want to say surprise, but that is the biggest change, I guess, in, in the 10 years? Is there like an example or anything that you can point to? Um, well, I think uh, I think the, the the biggest thing that that has changed from the University of Wisconsin to here is is he's um, he's way way more involved in the in teaching the the teaching the entire team the basics of football and and the the importance of not losing a game you know um, and um, you know just opening our eyes to a lot of different situations I feel like our teams becoming situational masters right now, you know? Um, and I, and I think, um, you know, a lot of teams lose games, you know, on Sundays, um, you know, they, they don't, they don't win them. They, they lose them before it even starts because of, you know, certain situations that they're not aware of. And, you know, coach is doing a great job of teaching us all, of, all the, just the small details of things like, like that. And if I could get one about a guy, I mean, we don't know much because we haven't seen him, CJ Hart. But what what have your reads been on him, and what, what's he add to this room? Yeah, we love CJ Hart. He's having an incredible um, spring practice. Um, you know, the first six days have been really good. Um, he's he's extremely uh, intelligent. He's he's um, you know he's very talented. He's fast. He's plays with a lot of power. He's got a lot of energy. He's got some field presence to him. Um, he adds a ton. We're, we're really excited to have him. He's been a great addition to the linebacking core, and um, you're going to see some good things from him in the fall. Thanks, Andy. Mm -hmm. Coach Boo, you've spoken a little bit about the depth chart and not having a lot of the scholarship guys. How difficult does that make it for you come the fall when putting together a depth chart? Just because you haven't seen so many of the guys in front of you. Yeah, good question. Um, no, I don't think it's that hard. I mean, we're we're um, you know it's given um, some of the younger guys and some of our walk-ons a opportunity to show us what they have, and it's been it's been awesome. Like I, I think from top to bottom, they're, they're, each one of the guys has has something to add. None of them um, none of them are are um, misplaced. Um, they all belong here. Um, they're all um, uh, intelligent. There's um, they, they love football. They play it and study it the right way. And it's been shown, uh, it's been showing up on the, uh, on the practice field. Very pleased. So when you are evaluating a lot of these guys that are injured, I'm sure you're doing it now as you evaluate the guys who are in practice. Is a lot of just film from last season and practice, or are you even going back to high school for them too, I guess? No. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we went back and, and evaluated each one of those guys. Um, every actually, every guy on our roster was evaluated. Um, but from here here on out, you know, we'll just we'll just we'll just evaluate off of what they show us when they get back. You know, um, obviously, the guys that played last year showed us a lot, so um, we're, we're, we feel pretty comfortable with what, what their capabilities are. Thanks, Coach. If I could get one more, Andy, we, we've heard everybody talk really highly of Tank Wright. Uh, what's your read on him? What's he been able to do with some of those guys? Yeah, Tank. Um, Tank's absolutely one of the best I've been around. His energy, his intelligence, his details um, are just second to none out there. Uh, and we all love him just because we, we, we all feel like he's the secret rep weapon around here. Um, you know, we all feel, feel, feel that way about him as a staff, but I think you'll, you would hear the same things from our players. Um, they absolutely think, uh, the world of him, and, and he's been able to, you know, build that relationship in a short period of time. So that's, it's awesome. And I think Aaron Henry said like tank has a way to command a room. I mean, just the way his personality is that true I, like how, what does that look like in real time oh gosh it's he's just being himself you know he's got 
um, you know, he's got some presence to him when he walks into a room and, um, you know, he, he uh, just has a way of a, a way about him. That's really special. It's, it's hard to emulate something like that. You know, he's just, he's just being himself and um, it's very authentic. And, and I think the kids really love that about him. Cool. Thank you. Andy, I just had a general uh, question about your position group. What do you need out of linebackers in this defense? What do we need? We just need consistency. We, we need uh, guys that play square, um, that are good tacklers, um, that understand leverage, um, understand, um, you know, their role within the defense and, um, and guys that play extremely hard, you know, and that uh, play with fanatical effort. You know, those are things. And, and we need le leadership. You know, we need guys um, at that position to, to lead us. You know, they have their shoulders back, their eyes forward, and uh, they're commanding. Um, they're commanding the defense with their voices and in how they play every day. Um, and I think we got a we got a room full of them. I'm, I I really believe that uh, from top to bottom, each one of them are capable of leading leading our defense. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Great. Anything else for Coach? That's good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're good to go. Awesome, cool. Hey, Coach, how you doing? Uh, you seem to have a really close relationship with a lot of players on the team. I think one of those is probably Reggie Love, considering all the history that you guys have there. What's it been like to get back and kind of mix it up with him on a regular basis, the running backs? Oh, it's been good. You know, Reggie, real good young young guy. You know, he going to work his tail off all the time. Um, he worked well in the room with guys like him and Chase. They bounce stuff off each other all the time. So, I, I mean, it's great just to be back around another one of those young guys that I, that I helped bring here. And then this running back room as a whole, it seems like there's a lot of talent, one of the better groups, I would say, on the team. As you've kind of adapted and learned what they've done, what have you learned from them and how is everything going in that room together? Well, um, like I said, that's a, that's a serious room. Those guys, they push each other. I mean, I mean, great group. Like, I don't, I don't think I could have asked for a better situation. But um, like for me, I, I allow them to do a lot in our room and I tell them that this room is our room, it's not my room. So. Like if it's something we need to talk about, I'll, I mean, we, we it's, it's wide open in our room. They able to whatever we need to talk about, we talk about it. Hey, Corey, we've heard from some of the players just on kind of the changes with the new staff coming in. You've got an interesting perspective, having worked on both of those staffs. What has kind of been the biggest change for yourself throughout this uh, this transition? Oh, um, working with this group, it's been it's been just a lot closer. Like. This group as a whole, the the staff, everybody seemed to work together real well. Um, Coach B did a phenomenal job of putting personalities together. I think that's that has to be one of the best qualities that he has. Like he found guys that that not only gonna work hard but gonna work hard together. I think that's 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 one of those things that's that's a lot different from the old staff. And with yourself carrying over as well, you know, seeing some of these seniors back in large numbers, what is some of the I guess the responsiveness that you've seen? from some of those guys, you know, kind of picking up on the the nuances with just, uh, you know, some coaching changes, scheme changes, things like that. I think the guys picked up everything well. I mean, it's, it's been so positive in the um, they've, they've been able to, to just jump in and like when, like this is this is a huge thing. I think um, the family deal, when everybody hear it, it sounds like, it sounds like another trending thing, but like it really feels that way in this building. It really, when you walk in here, it feels, it feels completely different. The guys are all over the building. They in everybody's room. Everybody's talking. Everybody having great conversation. Everybody's out in the hallways in the building. I mean, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge change. Thanks, Corey. Hey, coach. Um, coach B has talked a lot about um, the running back room. He says, you know, he's been impressed with it so far. And I think something that I've noticed particularly is these guys have like bulked up. I mean, it looks like their bodies have transformed a little bit. I mean, is that Tank's doing, or is that something that you've noticed a little bit too as these guys um, get ready for the season? I think Tank's done a phenomenal job with those guys. Um, I mean, he had eight straight eight straight weeks with them, and you can just see the change in them from from their bodies to to how explosive they are and how they move. I think um, Tank also did some things I had never seen done in the weight room before. Like it's not just the weight room; it's, it's some science going on down there. And as far as what, you know, Coach B has told to us, I don't know if he's said anything to you about how he's been um, impressed or how, I mean, has he given you any feedback on how you're, you're coaching the room or how your guys are looking at all? Um, I think one thing with that, 
Coach B's been a head coach, I think, 12 years, and he's at 13,000 yard uh, running backs, 1,000 yard rushes. The pressure on me, I can't, I can't be the one that don't get it right. Thank you. Hey, Corey, good to see you. Uh, you talked about Reggie Love. What's been the biggest jump for him year one, now entering year two? I mean, is there something that really sticks out? Um, I mean, his body's, <laughs> his, his body's changed so much. And he's just a lot more explosive. The guy moves around. I mean, he always had great feet, but the guy moves around a lot better than he did before. Um, not, like I said, not only with his body, but he, he's definitely a lot more explosive. And, and for you, I mean, I know you just met Bielema a couple months ago, really, but like, it, it seems like he's really enjoyed the opportunity to be back and running a college program. Do, do you ever look at him and kind of see him taking in a moment or you know, just kind of appreciating this chance to be back in this position. Has there been any reads like that you're able to get out of him? I think he shows it every day, like with the way he interacts with us, the way he interacts with our players. I mean, he's the, he's the type of guy that you want to coach for. I mean, just just to be like, he's a guy that he coaches his coaches, but he's not like all over you, if you know what I'm saying. Like, but he, he's, we're, we're learning as much as the guys are learning every day. Like he's, he's that type of guy and it feels good. So, I mean, yeah, I, I think he does that every day just with his actions of how he runs the program. Thanks, Corey. Hey, Corey, good to see you, man. Uh, I'm just wondering about the two chases, Chase Brown and, and Chase Hayden. One, how do you how do you tell the difference or how do you say the difference between them uh, with both chases? But what have you seen out of them in spring camp? Um, both of those guys have been, been great. Um, Chase Brown is a very explosive guy. Um, sometimes I got to make him be a little more patient, but very explosive. His body's changed a little bit. He's He's bulked up a little bit more. I mean, I mean, I think he was already a good looking guy, but I mean, he's his body's changed a little bit more. Um, very explosive though. Um, like I said, I, I settle his feet every now and then. And Chase Brown's a little more patient, um, a little more powerful, a little more Dre Brownish to me. He's um a guy that I think that uh, understands football. He's played a lot of football. So I think he'll help us in that manner. And then people are talking about the changes, Corey, just recruiting pitch. What changes now? Uh, what has changed in the last three, four months for you? Um, the recruiting pitch is easy. Like my, my head coach works harder than I do, so I'm, I'm a, I'm chasing him around more than anything. Like I'm, I mean, he, he he's on the phone, he he's tapping in with everybody. Um, it puts me in a position that I love being in. Like I, you got to go work. You can't you can't sit around him and not get anything done because he's working his tail off. So, I mean, that, that that's a beautiful thing. Thanks, Corey. Hey, Corey, good to see you. Um, I think we might have uh, addressed this with you when, you when you initially got retained and we talked to you, but now that you've had some more time uh, to, to get adapted to your new role, what, what's the biggest adjustment then, if anything, between your old position group and this new one here for you as far as coaching and, and things like that? Have you really had to change the way you coach all, or are you just kind of bringing the same mentality, same mindset over to, to the running backs? Yeah, I think um, like being a high school coach, you coach almost every position. Um, what what changes like the little nuances of the position, things that um the new coordinator wants done, we just got to do them in that manner. And that I mean that's the easiest thing in the world. If he tell me how I want it done, we can get it done. Um, with this group though, I mean it's a very focused group. They locked in everything. Um, I mean I, I'm a guy I like to have a little fun. Sometimes I got to lighten up the room myself. Those guys so locked in, they're ready to go. So I think that's probably the biggest change in that group. And you mentioned uh, doing what the coordinator wants you to do. What is the relationship like with you and the and uh, Tony Peterson, uh, how, how have you guys kind of uh, gotten along, come together? Oh, uh, it's simple. Like, um, TP, a great dude. Um, like, the whole offensive staff is simple. Like, we, we come in the room, we come in the room as all jokes. We we have a good time. Um, but, like, with him, it's, it's, it's very easy to be around. I mean, he, I mean, it's his offense, we understand it. And, um, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just an easygoing group. Thanks, Corey. Hey, Coach, uh, have you already had any contact with Mike Capstein at all? Yeah, I talked to Mike. Yeah, we had some good talks. Um, it's kind of like for, for him, it's for us, we want Mike back, but it's up to him on the decision that he has to make right now. What are your expe expectations for him? Do you think you'll see him back here time for the season or not? I hope so. I mean, I, he's a great young man to be around. But Coach B's gave him the opportunity, to, the option to, to do to make this to make this move however he'd like to make it. So I'm just gonna continue to support him. We still talk all the time. Great guy. We're gonna we're gonna see how this thing works. And how much better him, 
how much better is your room with him in it? If he, if he comes back and you got the guys you you already have with him, how much does he enhance what you guys can do? I think you answered it with the question. Like it's a whole, it's a lot better. Any room is a lot better when you got a Mike Epstein in it. Thanks, Coach. Great talking to you. No doubt. Corey, I just wanted to follow up. We've seen Tony Peterson at past stops. Like he has quite a few guys cycle through that running back position. I think last year at App State, three guys had something like 500 yards. What's that on you to you know, get a good amount? You know, where it's not just one or two, but it's three, four guys ready to take carries. I mean, do you guys think you're equipped for that? And if so, why? Yeah, I think we're very equipped for that. Um, I think with the way we're going to run the ball, you're going to need three or four guys. Um, you're going to need three or four guys that's all ready to go. And I think we got, we definitely got that number and more that's going to be ready to go and ready to tote the rock. I know you said the biggest mm -hmm. thing with Reggie Love is physically he's changed a lot. Like you're, you're probably one of the few guys who has seen Reggie Love, like eighth grade Reggie Love, freshman year. Do you ever like kind of look and like, whoa, like it, this is kind of the potential we saw when he was 14 years old. And now he's, you know, here looking like a Big Ten running back. Yeah, no question. It, like, he was always a kid that was like tight, built tight. But to see all the muscle put on him and the way he's grown a little bit, like, I mean, I'd like to see Reggie Love in another year. Like the way Ch Tank has changed his body. So, I mean, we got time to see that. And it's really a science with Tank. Like we've heard a lot of really good things, but it's it's true. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, man. You got to see it. Thanks, Corey. Or I just had a quick follow-up with Reggie. Um, obviously, he got, got a little playing time last year, but I, I know there were programs that run the football uh, really well that that wanted him. What makes him such a good fit for, for this offense? Um, he can do a little bit of everything. Kid got really good vision. He got great feet. Um, one of the things you got to be able to have, your, your feet got to do what your eyes tell you. I think he do that real well. Um, we got to work on him getting his pad level down a little bit. But um, other than that, Reg Reggie, um, he fits right into this offense, along with the rest of the guys. Like, this group this group is going to be a really good group together. Thanks, Mark. No doubt. Um, Coach, I wanted to follow up. It, you mentioned, like, this group is being good, is fitting with this offense. Does all of these running back, or how important is all these running backs having different skill sets and being able to do different things? How much easier does that make it for them fitting into this offense? I think it makes it very easy. First off, our offense is not very complicated. Um, the guys go, I mean, we're going to run the ball. And the guys that want to want to get downhill and go do and go get the 34 yards that Coach TP talked talk about, those guys that want to do that, those guys are going to be on the field a lot. And then a follow-up, I don't know if you've seen, but Trinity Catholic closing on a personal level, what's that kind of mean to you? Oh, you kind of got me with that one. Um, I don't know. It's, um, I mean, it was something unexpected, but um, – I don't know. I don't know. It's tough with change. Sometimes you got to be able to change when things happen. So, I mean, it's tough for those guys that are still there, but hey, I mean, that's, that's one of those real lessons of life. When change happens, you got to be able to change with it. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.